फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट बींग एग्रीव्ड द प्राइवेट रिस्पोंडेंट्स फाइल्ड अ रिविजन बिफोर द डिप्टी डायरेक्टर ऑफ कंसोलिडेशन अंडर सेक्शन फोर्टी एट ऑफ द एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री हु वाइड हिज जजमेंट डेटेड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जून टू थाउजेंड टू अप हेल्ड द ऑर्डर ऑफ द सेटलमेंट ऑफिसर ऑफ कंसोलिडेशन ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट ए प्रिलिमिनरी डिक्री इज ए फाइनल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द राइट्स ऑफ द पार्टीज इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्रोपर्टी सो टू बी पार्टीशन इट इज ऑल्सो अपीलेबल बट नो सच अपील वॉज फाइल्ड बाय द पटिशनर हेयर इन दैट इज रिस्पोंडेंट्स बिफोर द रिविजनल कोर्ट ऑन द एलिगेशन ऑफ फ्रॉड द कोर्ट पेरूज द रिकॉर्ड्स एंड फाउंड दैट देयर वॉज नो प्लीडिंग कंटेनिंग रेक्विजिट डिनाइल ऑफ थम्ब इम्प्रेशन नोर द प्रजेंस ऑफ द कंसर्न इन द कोर्ट एटसेट्रा नोर एविडेंस टू प्रूव एनी सच फ्रॉड द रिविजनल कोर्ट रिलाइड अपॉन द डिसीजन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिपोर्टेड इन ए आई आर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव एस सी टू फोर नाइन थ्री मूलचंद एंड अदर्स वर्सिज डेप्टी डायरेक्टर कंसोलिडेशन एंड अदर्स टू होल्ड दैट ए प्रिलिमिनरी डिग्री पास्ड इन ए सूट फॉर पार्टीशन अंडर सेक्शन वन सेवेंटी सिक्स बाइंड्स द पार्टीज Even if those proceedings do not result in a final decree, if the said preliminary decree is not challenged in appeal, therefore the preliminary decree dated first March nineteen eighty six passed on the basis of compromise, which had been duly proved, was binding upon the petitioners and also operated as a stopple. and principle of acquiescence also applied the contention of learned counsel for petitioner is that no such compromise was entered into with the private respondents and he had no knowledge whatsoever about the said preliminary decree once the suit abated the preliminary decree could not have been appealed as any proceedings could only take place before the consolidation authorities plea of fraud was taken before the consolidation authorities which was found to be correct by the settlement officer consolidation and rightly so there was no reason for the petitioner to enter into a compromise relinquishing one third share and accepting one sixth share of the holding but the revisional court without appreciating these aspects of the matter has erred on facts and law in upturning the judgment of the settlement officer of consolidation causing prejudice to the petitioner sri v k singh learned counsel appearing for private respondents has relied upon the decision of the supreme court in the case of moolchand supra to contend that preliminary decree prepared in a regular suit under section 176 for partition division of share which had not been appealed was binding upon the parties and had to be given effect in consolidation proceedings between the parties therefore the revisional court had adopted a correct approach in deciding the matter he contended that there was no pleading whatsoever of fraud nor was it ever proved on the question of variance of shares contrary to what the petitioner was legally entitled the pedigree being admitted to the parties he placed reliance upon the judgment of this court report in shrimati manraj versus deputy director of consolidation and others 2010 one adj 249 on a bare perusal of the order of revisional court 
it is found that it has considered relevant aspects of the matter and issues involved threadbare on the question of compromise dated 1st march 1986 and its veracity it has held in detail that in the objections filed before the consolidation officer the petitioner herein never denied the thumb impressions on the compromise filed nor their presence on the relevant date on a perusal of the record it found the thumb impression of the petitioner on the compromise as also that of other parties as also the fact that based on such compromise the sub divisional magistrate sandila had passed a decree it also found that thumb impression of the petitioner had been verified by his advocate just as those of other parties had been verified by their counsel and at the back of the compromise the court of sub divisional magistrate concerned had made his endorsement and signature therefore it found the contention of the petitioner herein that no such compromise was presented before the presiding officer to be factually incorrect stop